Hello, this is Carl James Lankford from my video log on the 8th of November 2014, the day before Remembrance Sunday. And specifically in this video log today, we're going to be looking at the Tower of London poppies. And we're going to be a bit of a yin and yang, completely two different subjects. Um, we're going to be looking at the series Detectorists, which is shown on BBC4. Um, the sixth episode is on Thursday, and we'll be talking about that as well. But without further ado, the poppies in the moat at the Tower of London. And they are there, each of the poppies all 888,246 poppies represents a life lost in the trenches in Europe in the Middle East um, far over um, the conflict um, as, as far, far east as Hong Kong that type of landscape in the naval seas around Africa um, in Africa itself all over the place uh, each of them represents um, a death in that war and in a way I feel each poppy represents the suffering of those injured as well maimed um, each of those poppies is representative of a family who's felt that deep deep loss of somebody who died in that conflict between the 5th of August 1914 and the 11th of November 1918. We're not going to get into the controversy about the way it rolls and whatever of the law. The but what we're going to say is the poppies uh, were being laid individually in the moat at the Tower of London and become a great tourist attraction, a great um, event. Um, in the, every single day, more poppies would be added, individually representing an individual life lost and these have been designed by the ceramic artist Paul Cummins and they they, they are so each petal is a, a red ceramic leaf um, and also you've got a uh, you've, you've got a stem as well and obviously a piece of uh, black uh, ceramic uh, to represent the rest of the poppy and each one of these have been laid and the last one will be laid um, on the 11th hour of the 11th day um, which is in a few days time and the the poppies themselves have been visited it probably be uh, by the time the 11th of November probably by maybe up to six million people in Britain and further afield and they've been laid since the 5th of August um, they're gonna be I, I believe um, I agree with the um, artist um, ceramic artist Paul Cummings and the designer Tom uh, Piper that the poppies should then uh, be removed uh, within moments of the 11th hour on the 11th day um, in a few days from now because if it really meant a lot to people to visit them they they would have visited the poppies from the 5th of August to the 11th of November I've been down to London many times uh, from the period of the 5th of August uh, up until recently and I've passed the Tower of London and I've had an opportunity to see the this beautiful ceramic display and I feel in regards to all those victims of the war um, whether they di died, um, whether they, they, they suffered for years and years after that, they, they lived it um, from the experiences. Uh, I agree with the, the artist Paul Cummins and the uh, designer Tom Piper that they should be removed on the 11th of November. Because war itself, you can't plan war. You can't plan deaths. You don't know how many. And if people really felt that they were important to them then they should have visited them by now there weren't many, there weren't big crowds um, in the early stages in August and then it got popular and people went to see it and I think it's very shallow that um, the Prime Minister and I think it's very shallow that the Lord Mayor of London said oh let's keep them there for ages let's milk a, as much money as we can out of tourists uh, visiting the um, the poppies and this is an artist display it's it's not meant to stay there forever it's meant to go on the 11th of November unfortunately um, 
um, bow down to pressure. Part of the some of the poppies will remain after the 11th of November, and the rest of them will be taken down. And the poppies will then circulate around the country, and I think that's wrong. That's not what art's about. Art like this in in this genre. Um, the artist wants them to be removed. All of them are on the 11th of November, and each individual ceramic um, poppy is to be sent to a member of the public who's paid £25 for these poppies. And each poppy, then, uh, the money for the £25 will then go uh, into the fund for th those people who are still st st suffering from more recent wars. Maybe the display, maybe there, sh there should be a very similar display um, when it comes to a, a more poignant remembrance of the end of the Second World War. Um, but that that's to come. And obviously the, the, these poppies represent everybody who suffered in conflict since. Um, Aden, Falklands, Afghanistan, Iraq, conflicts in Africa, conflicts everywhere else. Um, and I feel very much that the poppies should be removed, all of them, um, on the 11th of November. But unfortunately, people in Britain are so shallow um, that, they, that they, they, they want to be able to see the poppies on their terms. And they haven't made the effort to see them. And I really respect those that have made the effort, but they should be removed on the 11th of November. And I feel very passionate about it. But unfortunately, because the Lord Mayor of London and... Those powers that be want to make more money out of it. And not the British Legion. Because the British Legion will be getting money from the sale of the poppies. Not entrances into the Tower of London. I think it's very wrong that um, this type of artist display is going to be milked. When part of it remains there for two and a half weeks. But people in this country obviously don't really understand art. Anyway, that, that's that said. Right, the, the series Detectorists, um, moving on completely, the series Detectorists, episode 6, shown on BBC 4 on Thursday, was good. I, I'm um, Obviously, my background as an archaeologist, I'm sort of still practising archaeologist until I formally retire at the end of the year. Um... The, uh, then I'll still be giving talks and stuff after that, but I'll be sort of semi-retired anyway. But the, the fact of the matter is, um, I love the series. It was a nuanceful look at discovery. Not really focused on the use of a metal detector, as I've already said. I like the series. Um, I... It was, to me, the uh, the metal detecting equivalent of Bone Kickers that was shown a few years ago with Julie Graham, um, Hugh Bonneville Carter, um, it, uh, uh, just a few years back now, Bone Kicks. But that didn't go into, that was six episodes, and that didn't go into a second series. But I'm told that the series Detectress will go into a second series next year. Lance and Andy have managed to... Um, sort of bury the hatchet literally and they've gone out to do their last metal detecting at the beginning of this the the uh, episode um, and Andy basically says I don't want to do metal detecting anymore I'm gonna sell my metal detector so long story is is that he manages to get to it back with his wife uh, Becky who um, understands that Andy his isn't having an affair with Sophie um, um, Becky, uh, Becky tells um, Andy um, that um, she's pregnant, and we've got the the uh, the other bit about the metal detecting club um, having a meeting, and they they're, they're giving out fleeces and stuff. And there's all sorts of weird things. <laughs> I thought it was great. You've got to watch it for the next few days on BBC uh, Four. There's a display of ring ring pulls through the ages. Well, for the 30 years they were used. Um, they, there's a, they, they show in this whole display of the, of the group um, shrapnel through the ages. I love it. it it's a real pee tape. But there's some serious stuff in it because the farmer um, who um, we think has buried his wife hasn't. It, the archaeologists actually find out that the body that they found in episode 5 turned out to be a dog. I thought that was brilliant. 
Um, Lance has come to his senses about his his, his ex-wife, um, and he's not going to give her any of the lottery winnings he's got. Um, Sophie sort of uh, comes into the fore, and and obviously the the farmer bloke is released from prison and invites Lance, Andy, Becky, and Sophie onto his land to metal detect. One last time at the end of the episode, because I thought it was going to be the last episode. Anyway, the other group, the um, Antiqua Searchers, um, the farmer doesn't want on his land. He's got real dogs, not um, make-believe dogs in this one. We find out that his, his wife, I think, is in, in Broadmoor or something like that. Um, and then we close with um, Becky and Sophie sort of um, in the grass. Um, chatting, drinking tea, um, sort of, um, and I think uh, Lance, Lance and Andy, um, Lance, because he sold his metal detector, he goes into the local shop and gets a Power Rangers metal detector for 19.99, and you see him metal detecting in the field. Um, and Lance and Andy uh, metal detect. The final scene is is that uh, we cut to the fact that they were so close metal detecting to the ship burial, which Becky. Andy's wife tells them that's where it is because she's a bit of a boffin on ge geography and the history and all the rest of it. And they uh, they, they eventually find that um, they eventually find the site of the um, the ship burial, but they don't find it. We we we, we, we see we see that uh, uh, they they do some special effects and they're just like um, they they show that uh, they were so close. Um, even though they found it, they didn't actually find find it physically. They 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 they, they found it on the screen. So basically, it clo it closes on that bit that everyone wanders off, um, happy that they've had a day of metal detecting. Um, we know where the ship is. They found it, but they don't know that they found it. Um, and then we're going to go into episode. Um, then we're going to go into a new series next year, so that'll be exciting. I don't know if it's, it can be possibly as good as the first series. But it'd be nice to have another series um, to bring some of those characters alive and just and just end it on that. Just have another six episodes, that'd be great. Okay, it's my video log for today. Thank you everybody for watching and um, look forward to Sunday's video log. Thank you.